Here we go. Mad Lions are going to walk over to the Baron. Yes, Ooh, good double Yoya, double pull. Good headbutt on Elioya. Elioya doesn't get his Zadia's off. This might be the game-winning play. Treats just literally just won them the game. Treats literally just like fucking won them the game. <laughs> He's actually just smurfing. <laughs> this guy was a sub for Biofrost. How crazy is that, dude? Alyoya is doing the Wraith to invade. You can do this a lot on Lily. Now, the interesting thing is this. When you do this pathing, so if you do this pathing on 11.4 as a jungler, you don't actually hit level three off these camps. That's an interesting change. That's your first in interesting change that we're getting on 11.4 immediately for the jungle. That uh, old pass where you do like Wraith plus buff or Wraith plus wolf into, uh, into Gromp, that literally now gives you a fraction off level three so you still hit level three off like gromp wolves uh gromp wolves uh blue uh gromp red gr uh, golems whatever like there's a bunch of different pathing that you can do uh this is really bad for el yoya el yoya is gonna have to dip he might have to flash here oh he just griefed super hard yo tink should just ghost at him just kill him tinks okay good enough good enough you got the tp both TPs coming in. Oh, Treats kind of whiffed the combo, though. This is just a mess. It's a fucking mess. Isn't it Tink's turbo, dude? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's really bad for him. He got crap, so it's not that bad. See, this is the thing about, about um, if the game stalls like this. So, because that fight lasted for so long, it actually goes in Tink's favor. Because Tink's, because you got to remember this, right? The only camp that's respawning from El Yoya is his Wraiths, where even though El Yoya took Tinks' camps, all of Tinks' camps are respawning, which means that he has all of his experience still in the jungle available to him. In this situation, where they actually, like, where, where um, he's been counter-jungled, the fact that they have that fight while his camps are respawning and El Yoya is not actually getting camps and, and clearing his own jungle, Tinks doesn't have anything to do, but El Yoya does have stuff to do. So even though that scrap, like, kind of, like, ended up all over the place, it wasn't good for, for the laners, but it was good for tanks. Now, one of the things that I like doing that I've been trying to convince pro players to experiment with is Ignite on Hecarim. Ignite with Phase Rush on, on, on Hecarim because it turns a lot of your like level six plays into like guaranteed plays or one shots, which has, yeah, value. Decent. And they get first blood. That's so good for him. They're looking for this play bot onto Kaiser. I mean, this could come down with a bunch of TPs. Okay. Good play. Honestly, sol solid play from Treats. Treats has been really good. I didn't expect it. I thought he was going to be like, okay. I didn't think he would be this good. But it looks like he's actually even improved since once he was on TSM. Like, when he was on TSM, it felt like his playmaking potential was, like, kind of limited. Like, he didn't go for that many plays. And his execution wasn't that high. Now, it looks like his execution is just much better. It's something that I want to talk to Treats about. They are having a season here. Doing some great work, and Kaiser's completely given up on bot lane. He's looking for Gen X here with El Yoya. Going in. You can see there's the world end up hop. The sleep's gonna come out here as well. Not really much Gen X can do in human. Hey, El Yoya gets the kill. Zadia's rush here. Kinda sucks that he ha he kinda has to go Zadia's attack room. How is the harsh cold? No, it's like hot now. The cold is gone. Treats is kind of inting here. Yeah, Treats just sent it there. Damn, that sucks. He'd been playing super well the entire game. He just got a little bit uh, over overexcited there. Did I see World Elite versus IG today? Wasn't it EDG versus IG today? I didn't see it yet. No, I was I was having fucking problems sleeping. Okay, they're all onto blue. Man, they don't have a TP. Gen X doesn't have a TP for his boy here. I mean, it's pretty late. Who's on his way? Tinks is, is in base. Fighters, all the fates call comes back. Armor looking to dive in. Humanoid flashes forward. Can't quite get the damage as treats. Man, where's Tinks? Oh, he's ghosting for it. Tinks is angry. Oh, this is like this is such a late TP and such a like bad way for SK to respond to this play. Sucks. Okay, so SK decently far behind now. Somebody's gonna have to answer the humanoid split. So now the issue is that Humanoid is so far ahead. Like, look at Humanoid's items. He's got Essence Reaper, Kraken Slayer, and IE completed. Like, he is so fucking far ahead. Ooh, good double, double pull. Good headbutt on El Yoya. El Yoya doesn't get his Zadia's off. This might be the game-winning play. Humanoid's dead too. That's huge, that's huge, that's huge. Wait, just Treats just win him the game like that? Treats just literally just won them the game? Now they just get Baron? Treats literally just like fucking won them the game. <laughs> He's actually just smurfing. <laughs> this guy was a sub for Biofrost. How crazy is that, dude? That was literally, they were down like 6k. That was a 6k gold swing. That fight plus Baron's a 6k gold swing. 
and they shouldn't even be worried about scaling that much here because they have the victor now like getting online which could be hard i like this decision from mad go for gen x gen x immediately flashes away pops the world ender as well just to try and get himself to safety but treats is having none of this oh no here comes things as well the knockback onto one and already humanoid has gone down okay another great play humanoid is dead again wow mad is really not having a good one double pull from treats okay he's going back in dude he actually just won v9 this entire game this must feel so good for treats uh blue what are you doing though oh blue you're just ending the whole game nice man yeah well played dude well played your support is just turbo 1v9ing and that's what you do with the lead love to see it that's the thing about mid laners it's like you want mid laners that are stable that never throw the game like that okay armu's just dead armu just sent it sk is just gonna win regardless huh humanoid's dead armu's dead this actually might be endable somebody hit the turret once for fuck's sake it's 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 endable i think yeah it's endable wait where's their wave uh might be hard to end might be hard to end because they have no wave really they don't think they can do it they could have definitely done it now i'm pretty sure they could have at least forced like next what they're not even going to drop the inhib are they afraid of humanoid cp nah this is this is this is criminal this is a crime the fact that they didn't drop the inhib there is a crime okay Elioya is just dead looks like sk just hard win now hasn't even used the mega nah yet he goes mega doesn't have time for the nah in the end lands it against the wall with the stacks shield keeping him alive like he was playing completely differently and then also just like from an optics perspective right how much different does how much different does treats look now in terms of like his aggression his like desire to continually make plays his confidence like you can see these things in the game you can see how much more confidence treats is to like go for plays and make plays within the game somebody should have killed that wave by the way in the bot river it's this flank that will destroy the mad lines Elioya knocks straight into the face of blue pops the stopwatch immediately but kaiser can't get near enough to this fight okay Elioya is just dead for free should be a really good fight okay wait hold on jesu's dead karzi killed jesu but blue is so much damage here they just have to play with blue play with blue play with blue and gen x is actually 1v1 in karzi on the other side humanoid's about to die okay sk just wait they can just go down mid i'm gonna go misfits pre-draft i'm going misfits dude Fuck it zoe's banned i'll take him anyway well i actually don't think that uh xl is that good like i don't think that they're a team that is scary also tori has just been hard sprinting it for like weeks but i guess he's on tom kench now so it's not the end of the world graves oh my god i hate misfits draft already they got graves oh no they drafted graves oh god it's not even a good game for graves why would they do this to themselves oh they hate themselves yeah no they just hate themselves they're just one of them self-hating teams graves with a set of victor yeah set of victor tom kench he's gonna do a lot Oh! This is like so weird for Misfits. Like, why don't they just take drag? They literally run across the map to try to contest this Rift Herald that they're not even actually able to contest. Like, I don't know, man. It's so strange for, for Misfits. God, I lose so many predictions going for Misfits. But like, I just, it, to me, it makes no sense, right? Like you have free dragon here. Your comp scales. So getting the first dragon allows you more of an ability to scale. And instead of just taking the free dragon, you run across the entire map like just monkeys. Like, all right, let's get that top fucking turn. Like, what the fuck? It doesn't matter, bro. Trade it. And now they go for the, the, the dragon. And like it's so inefficient to actually path like this and now do you potentially lose this oh my god patrick failed his flash patrick with the hard choke this is so good for misfits so good for misfits that's huge for misfits oh my god misfits win the game oh my god misfits win the game they win the game they played it so bad but they win the game let's go patrick flash into the wall didn't heal let's go far enough away check a lot no flash this time around shockwave available for vto as well okay solid kill all right this is where i'm gonna make my comeback on you guys i'm going to just start predicting against xl frequently and start predicting against shulk frequently and then you guys are all gonna think that these teams are actually decent they don't need to go for this dragon i mean they don't need to go for this midwave at all there's like this weird mentality that i've seen where people are like people are like oh we need mid prio like always they care about mid prio when there's times where it's like just fucking go 
to the dragon. You have complete positioning on the dragon, and you just, like, sacrificed it like Kabi just get jumped on for no reason. Like, you could literally just keep this position and let them take the mid-tier one. Like, the soul is going to literally win you the entire game. Okay, they get it anyway. They're chilling. Razor needs to not int. Kryz needs to just die for what he's doing. And to Baron they go. Nice. This one is feeling like a 40 minute bait. Nah, it's doomed. I mean, that, that Drake fight was just absolutely doomed from XL. But I do think that XL got outdrafted. Like, I think the Seraphine pick has so much value here. Great ulti. It's a game winner. They can probably end on this push. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, they can get a hit for sure. Okay, crowd shot on the Jinx. The Jinx. What did I tweet? What did I... I tweeted about this. I tweeted about this at some point. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? I tweeted about this at some point last week. I'm like, by the way, 11.4 Jinx is broken. We're going to start seeing it in pro play. I said some shit like that. Let's go. Okay, so the Thresh into Blitz is not the best. Kind of a scary lane, but you kind of want a Thresh with the Jinx just to enable the Jinx to have some form of escape. Uh, they need an AD top laner. What are they going to top lane here? Just Camille blind? I mean, Wonder can... Oh, wait, no. Camille, Camille's banned. I wonder what they top lane here. Maybe they go Scion. Oh, shit. I actually got it. Holy fuck. Honestly, after draft, I think Vitality can win. I think they can win, but let me see the last pick. Set. Ah, set, set is pretty good here. Fuck. I really want to go Vitality post-draft. All right. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going, I'm going Vitality post-draft. I do like that final... The addition of Crown Shot has been of benefit to Vitality so far. Oh, oh, I like oh no! The Mickey hook! Melinda! Uh, why is he stepping forward, though? That's my question. Oh, no. Uh, uh, 38? Uh, I'm at 40. 41? 42? Wait, Zagenda just lives here? Nah, Caps has to kill him. Okay. I don't know. I like the Jinx here, though. I feel like the Jinx is so much value. Okay, Melitza! Okay, Melitza! Uh, just, I guess we're just not flashing what? Just, what? <laughs> like, it's literally Eagle Rat Cap. Earl. It's literally Rat Earl. <laughs> no, no, it is Ego Cap. They would never flash to us because he even had mole people. What? Yeah, it just ran straight at him. Setting up the... Okay, if they kill Reckless, they win. Because he's head. Get up there, Ricky! Okay, Crown Shot killed Reckless. Oh my god. And they're TPing? But this is good because now he's getting his fuck. Now he's going to have to force to get kills to fix it. Yeah, it's actually good. Man, this is so... Oh! Wait, Crowdy actually doesn't have the ego. Wait, he, wait, he dodged it and then he flashed. No. Wait, Mickey's just dead though, isn't he? Most. Yeah, he's just dead. Give it to Crowdy, give it to Crowdy. Give it to, give it to, give it to... No, why did you take it, LeBron? Oh my god, I even said it. Don't hate on the Thresh. Look at him, he's just helping. Look at him go. Get out of here, LeBron. Look, flash of hope. I fuck. Oh wait, it's actually a decent hook angle. Oh, he hooked Reckless. It's huge, it's huge. Oh my god, Reckless, get out of there. Oh, oh my god, Crowdy's in his head. Crowdy's in his Look, head. Look, he's running circles. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit, couldn't dodge the hook. Wait, they can legit win. Oh, look at, look at Sion. Sion's just a really, really good champ. Okay. Oh, he hooked Nidali, but he has a stopwatch, right? Okay, stopwatch. This is good. Oh my god, did they drown? Drown? Come on, Crowdy! You should have no flash. Wait, if they kill it, they Nash. Abuse the Sion passive. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Wait, he was stun him? And Kai's Civil Ori. I mean, I don't think that this matters that much. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, Kaisa is weak and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. That was just Kaisa just smurfing. Yeah, it was. Did you see? He, like, shredded him to bits. <laughs> okay, man. He hex flashes, hooks this, they win. Oh, wait, Mickey's just in. Oh, they didn't even move. No, no, this is good for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying Vitality. Wait, they were getting reset. Okay, come on. This is your moment, Juice. Just the menace. Okay. We take it. Ulti, 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 ulti. Nice. Hey, Rickus. Oh. Wait. Oh, no. 
Wait, but what why did he almost do that? Jeez, what? Wait, there, there's no way that this Wait, why did I see our glass? He could have just killed him. Nah, there's no way. There's no way that, that fight was so unlucky, actually. Honestly, just fucking. Please, just fucking. Yeah. Just keep on farming the base. Just give them everything, man. Middle East, like, somehow taking a bot and hip turret. Like, okay. I don't know what's going on. Maybe. Oh my god, they're just losing to the calling. Oh lord, it's just sucking in. Just match? Le Brove? Jinx. Skins? Imagine being crown shot and playing with these animals. <laughs> Look! Okay, Melissa! You know Nidalee's been literally bottom this whole time, right? Like Nidalee's just taking it in him by herself. That's yeah, it's just doomed. Give him the KDA, Crowdy. Get him! Get him! Get him! Now, a daily reminder the Jinx is critting 260. If his team just played like humans, they could have won. Jinx is critting a solid 260. Yeah, but the bitch has Zanyas. Oh.